Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today I am going to try out doing the rubber band method of single lease twists. I don't know what I was thinking when I did this, but we'll go over the ingredients. So I did use some of our Elite Control Edge Tamer Color Charcoal, some of our Hair Repair and Growth Balm, a pack of rubber bands, a, and I know the video is going faster than I'm talking. Um, a rat tail comb, some duck wheel clips, and the Janet Collection pre-stretch three times hair. Um, I did spray a little bit of our hydration and strength leave-in spray just to kind of moisten my hair slightly because it was very, very dry. Um, that is a option for you, especially for your aftercare with your braids. So this is my first time ever doing this style. Um, I watched a couple YouTube videos. Shout out to all the YouTubers. <sighs> I just don't know what I was thinking when I said I was going to do this style. I don't braid, so don't judge me, guys. But I wanted something different, and I wanted to be able to do something at home because, you know, it's COVID-19 time, so we're staying inside, and there are no hairstylists to do my hair. So, of course, I'm a hairstylist, so why not learn on myself? So I started out with a triangle parting because I saw all these videos with people with the triangle partings, all these intricate parts and stuff like that. So I said, okay, well, yep, I'm going to do triangle parts. Uh, I soon regretted that after the second one. <laughs> so how this method is done is I'm actually not using a crochet needle. I literally take the section of hair, put edge control on it and split it in half, put the hair in between and then put the rubber band on the actual piece so that locks in the hair and then it makes it even easier um, for me to be able to twist the hair because I'm not using a crochet needle trying to pull it through um, this method if you are using you know just regular braiding hair I would not recommend using the crochet needle because it is very complicated to get it through the actual hair without it getting knotted or matted up now I have a shortcut if you haven't noticed so my ends are very blunt on some of my twists, my ends did stick out. As I said, I'm not a braider, so I honestly do not know um, the proper way to mask that, but this style is gonna work for me. It did take, you know, most of the videos, everybody was like, oh, it only took me an hour and a half. It only took me two hours. This style took me about three and a half hours um, from start to finish um, because I am not a braider. So, you know, I'm just honest about that. But I do say that this is something that you can do at home if you have the time and the patience, okay? Mind you, I only have hair in my crown area, so the fact that it took three and a half hours from just my crown, I know I have a huge head, so I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, what I do as well once I'm getting ready to twist is I do put a little bit of our charcoal edge tamer, um, a little bit or even a lot of it. <laughs> on the actual hair that's mine so it can blend a little bit better um, after i did these two twists i did soon learn that the triangle method was going to take me too long so i decided to go into the um, box method and if you notice my hair is sticking out so these two were one of the two that i did need to redo at the end which you'll see me end up having to redo it but i was really learning you know and getting my groove after that one so then when I went over and started to do the box um, partings, it did get a lot easier for me. Um, and I was able to have a little bit better control. Not all of them, my hair blended well. I tried different methods. I tried to comb it in. I tried to part smaller, which I do believe the smaller partings will have um, alleviated me having that issue with the hair sticking out. But honestly, I don't know. I was just more say ready to just be finished. Uh, I feel like I kind of picked up more than, than I could handle, but I did finish it out and I do like the outcome. So I'm not going to hit myself a little too hard, but this is not something that I would do over and over and over again. Now the rope twist part, if you have children and you do little ropes on them with their ponytails, this is exactly what I did. I am not a intricate braider, so I just, I know how to rope twist because I rope twist my kid's hair. <laughs> I was so excited because my hair didn't stick out on that particular twist. So I had gotten my groove in, and I do like the way that they look. I like that, that wet um, twist look. 
Now, for the opposite side, I did continue on with the box twists or box partings. But I did learn that the partings do need to be a lot smaller. Or if you're going to do the partings bigger, then you need to have at least two times that amount of hair for that large of a space. So this is all stuff that I learned as I was going along. The rubber bands, I did not coat with anything. Um, in some videos, I know people would coat the rubber bands with a little bit of oil. I did not coat mines with oil because I have a relaxer. That's number one. Number two, my hair is already fine textured and silky. So the rubber bands were slipping by just sitting on my hair with the edge tamer. So no additional oil was needed for my hair. Now, if you have natural hair and it's really coarse, then you can go ahead and add the um, rubber band to the oil to the hair. Now, I did cut out the majority of the video of me twisting because I didn't want you guys to have to sit there and see all of that. But now you get to see the finished product. Um, at the end, I really did like it. I'm not going to lie. I had some hair sticking out, but to be quite honest, for my first time doing this, I really think that it came out really, really good, especially for me who does not like repetition and I do not do braids to save my life. Um, I am able to do braids for a life jacket, but that is really all. <laughs> I can't really do it for style. So I was really happy with the outcome. Um, I'm actually fixing one of the ones that I did with the triangle part. I actually didn't even take the triangle partings out because I really didn't care. It's not that serious. Um, so what I'm doing now is putting my hair up into a quick bun because I'm going to mold down my sides and my back. If you guys know, I do have a shortcut um, on the sides and back. So I'm using our Elite Silk Wrap Foam to mold down those areas and then I will actually add some wrap foam to my hair uh, i forgot to bring the blow dryer into the bathroom with me so i did have my daughter bring it so you'll see um what i actually do with the blow dryer now this is something that i definitely recommend you go under a hooded dryer so that it would dry really nice um, and then you can also use it to make your your um braids lay really really nicely as well now the elite silk wrap foam does not flake um, and it's really, really good for styles like this, especially because with this type of hair, it's nice and soft. Uh, that's one thing that I can say about this Janet hair, the pre-stretched hair. Um, it was really, really soft. It actually didn't burn my fingers. It didn't hurt. It didn't do anything other than what I needed it to do. And it's, it's really, it meshed well with fine textured hair because it had that volume that I was looking for. So now I'm just using a blow dryer just to kind of semi blow dry my hair to get it to mold really, really quickly. This is not going to mold it 100% because the hair is not 100% dry. But for the purpose of what I'm doing it for, I was just going to put my scarf on anyway. So I just wanted to mold it down so you guys could see the end result. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to dip the hair in hot water. I did pre-boil the water. Um, you actually don't even have to dip this hair, but I chose to. And you'll see the difference in, you know, why I say you don't have to dip it. So at first I tried to fit all of that into that little mason jar. I don't know what I was thinking. And then I figured out that, hey, you might want to split it up because they are really thick. And I had that epiphany. <laughs> so... I went ahead and split them up and then dipped it into the hot water in the jar. Um, of course, I also don't recommend using a jar. It was kind of warm. <laughs> I'm learning as I go, guys. So I know you guys are cracking up, but yeah. Um, and then I also learned that this hair, um, you can dip it, but honestly, it's not required. I'm going to be quite honest. Well, let me not say it's not required. It did relax the braids on the end to make them kind of mesh well together. So I guess dipping it is required. Um, this is why I don't do braids, you know. This is why. I'm going to stick to hair care. But for me to do it to myself, I think I did an amazing job. Yeah. So I'm just using my towel to kind of dry out some of that water. And then I used my scissors and trimmed it up slightly. So here are the styles at the end. You guys comment, tell me what you think. And don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new. I think it came out awesome. Look at that. I think it came out great. For my first time, you guys comment down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me how I did. And then, you know, when I add braids to my booking site, you can book it. Nope.